Good morning, everyone. I'm Peter Butcher, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to the uh, December 9th uh, EduServe Symposium uh, in this magnificent uh, new venue. Uh, we've previously been uh, focused particularly on uh, the education sector, higher education in particular, in our symposiums. Today, the new venue reflects, in some sense, a wider ambition uh, that we look at issues that run across all the sectors we serve. About 60% of the services we offer are now outside educational institutions. They're in government or agencies or charities. Uh, and we hope today to see some uh, stimulating cross-fertilization across those sectors in the issues we're addressing. So uh, no doubt the way Bring Your Own Device impacts in government enabling staff or charities enabling volunteers uh, or universities enabling students varies, but I think there will be common themes and of course, one common theme today is always money, and that certainly runs across all the sectors that we're dealing with. There's some very familiar faces here, um, also some new faces. So just very briefly, what's EduServe and where did it come from? We began informally uh, in the late 80s. We were uh, delivering shared services uh, to universities, and we were incorporated in the late 90s uh, as a company limited by guarantee uh, and a charity, continuing to deliver services to universities, but increasingly to other public good, public sector organisations. So to government, to agencies, to charities, and so on. That's the history. What does it mean in practice? Well, the fact that we're a not-for-profit means that uh, we're not governed by maximising shareholder returns. That's at a kind of... Um, uh, corporate level, though the, the trustees will remind me from time to time that we need to break even. That is the only sustainable business model. Uh, but perhaps it's more important, more significant than that is something around the motivation uh, of our staff. Uh, our staff will tell me, and I think they're probably right, uh, that we don't pay the very top salaries uh, in the business. Uh, it's true we work in nice places data centers in Slough and Swindon may not be the sexiest of places to work, but they are very sexy in the technology that they're deploying. And most of our staff, in fact, work in Bath, which, of course, is a delightful place to work. But that's not really what motivates them. What motivates them is the people they are working for, who our clients are. So if you look at what we've done over the last year, for example, working with British Red Cross uh, on their mobile platform, to make that a more effective fundraiser for the British Red Cross. Working with Hefke uh, on their Unistats site, which many of you will be familiar with, which allows interrogation of rich information about the offers and experiences uh, available at different universities. That's close to the heart of a lot of our people. And all our people uh, are, of course, taxpayers. So saving money is also, for government, is also quite close to their hearts. One of the things we did over the last year was bring on board uh, into one place a whole range of arm's length bodies uh, of the DFE, which previously had separate hosting arrangements on separate sites and are now all in one place under one contract, saving very significant sums of money. Using our intelligence and our infrastructure to achieve that is what gives us and our staff a buzz. Something we're not very good at probably, is selling ourselves, generally. Until a few years ago, we didn't have any dedicated sales or marketing staff. We've now got some heroic sales and marketing staff, but we've still got a lot to learn in that area. We should be more unashamed about getting our message out about using our intelligence and infrastructure for public good organizations. So I'd be delighted if, in the breaks today, you would talk to me, or indeed one of my more intelligent colleagues, about what we might be able to do for you. But today is mainly uh, about uh, some of the opportunities and challenges we've all got at the moment, opportunities around engagement, uh, opportunities around new ways of working, and uh, the challenges of realising and the skills needed to realise those opportunities. Andy Powell, our head of uh, research, has done, I think, a great job bringing together that programme. Uh, I think uh, and I hope that uh, the experience today will match the fantastic surroundings we're in here and, and, and next door. Thank you very much indeed for coming. Have a great day. And Andy, I'm going to pass over to you. Thank you.